Hey there everyone, welcome to Technesia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the data based on the sheet names. Right here you see three sheets of data for Andy with his sales numbers, Bob and Kathy. And in the sales sheet, you can get the data for these employees based on the selection you do in cell C2. For example, if I choose Bob, I get Bob's data, which is picked from the Bob sheet. And if I choose Kathy, I get sales data for Kathy based on the data in Kathy's sheet. How can we do this? Let me show you. Here you have the data for three different employees in the organization. So in sheet Andy is his sales numbers, in Bob is Bob's sales numbers, and Kathy has her sales numbers. Let's say you wanted to access this information in one sheet. This can be easily done by referring the cell based on the sheet name. Note that the formats for all the three employees, that is Andy, Bob, and Kathy, are same. That is, the cell C5 has the January sales data, C6 has the February, and so on and so forth. Even in the sales sheet, we'll put the data in the same cells. So we have put January to December from cell B5 to B16. And if I wanted to access Andy's data, I can type in the cell C5 the formula equal to, go to the Andy sheet and select the cell C5, press enter. So in the sales sheet, the C5 is referring to Andy sheet C5. So if I change this data to let's say 18,450, now we get that data in the sales sheet. Now if I wanted to get Bob's data out here, I need to go to cell C5 and type in the formula equal to, go to Bob sheet and then type in this formula. And now I get Bob's data, but I'm missing Andy's data now. Now we can make this dynamic, that is based on our selection in cell C2, either Andy, Bob or Kathy, we can get the respective sales data. We can achieve this from a simple formula. So let's go to the cell C5. And if you see here, we've typed in the formula equal to the sheet name, which is Bob and the respective cell C5. If we want to make this dynamic, that is link the sheet name to the cell C2, we can do this by using the indirect formula. So let me just delete the formula in cell C5 and I'm going to type in the formula equal to indirect of the text we need here is the sheet name which is same as the cell C2. So I'm going to put $C$2 and we need to put an exclamation mark because that's how we refer to the respective sheet and the cell name and and then we know that the column is going to be the same as C and the cell name is going to be the same as the row number of this cell so which is row of B5 which is basically the row 5 and then close the bracket so this is now referring to kathy's data that is kathy is having 26684 let me change the c2 value to bob and now i'll get bob's data so let me just copy this formula over note that i have put the dollar symbol for c2 because we don't want this cell to change for the cells in the bottom and now if I copy the formula over, I will get the data easily for Bob. And if I let's say change it to Andy, I get I get Andy's sales number, which is 18,450 for January in our main sheet. So let's say you get another employee's data. Let me just move our copy, create a copy here, and let's call the sheet. Dorothy and I'm going to change some data make it 35 250 Let's say that should be random enough and name this as 
dollar three sales number. I can go to my main sales sheet and then go to data. Just put a validation here. Let me add a name Dorothy. Now, when I select Dorothy out here, I will get Dorothy's data, which is from this sheet. This type of cell reference can be really useful when you have a same format of data, which is, uh, let's say, for a different years or for a different month, and you need to access this data in one sheet easily. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.